Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to find and replace text content in your Figma designs using the CopyDoc plugin. Uh, so the first thing we need to do just really quickly, if you haven't already done so, is go to the Figma community, search for the term CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C, and you should see the result pop up under the plugins tab. And if you click on the install button on the right hand side, you should be good to go. Um, so now we can jump back into our Figma file and to run the plugin we can just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and click on copy doc. And that's just going to load up the plugin we just installed. So this is going to be a pretty short tutorial, it's just going to be covering the find and replace text feature in this plugin. So if you go ahead and click on the find and replace button, that's just going to bring up a modal with a familiar looking interface where you've got your find uh, input and you've got your replace input. So the find input is uh, where you put in your search term with the text you want to replace. So for example, if I put in uh, Avengers, which is the name of uh, the movie in a couple of these screens, and if I just change that to be all caps, uh, I can find those matches and preview the updates. So if I click on that find matches and preview updates button, that's actually going to load up all of the instances where it's found the word Avengers in my current file on my current page and it's just going to preview what it looks like with the text that I've put in uh, in the replacement input as well. Um, so you can see it's found a few different instances of this so we can get a sense of exactly where it's uh, appearing in the file, what it's going to look like when it gets changed um, and if you're unsure where these are being changed or where they're going to be changed um, you can just click on the little text icon button in any of these results. So if I click on this one uh, that immediately jumps to the layer that it's um, found and instantly selects it. So you get a really clear idea of where all these results are showing up. Um, and the cool, cool thing about that is you can actually uncheck those from being included. So let's say I didn't want to include this particular change. Um, I can just uncheck that uh, input and this won't be included um, in rolling out those updates. So if I'm happy with all the other ones, all I need to do to replace those in my Figma file is click on the update Figma text layers button. So I'm going to click that now. And that's just gone ahead and updated seven text layers. Um, so we can see it's got a check mark against all the layers that it's updated. Um, and we can see um, the preview of what it's updated. And now that it's been carried out, we can actually check that out. So you can see here it's changed all of those um, lines of text to all caps as we put in. Um, but it's also excluded the layer that we unselected here. Um, and if you do want to undo that, you can just either uh, Command Z or Control Z and just use the normal Figma undo feature and that's just instantly uh, undone all of those text changes. So if you did make a mistake, um, you can quite easily undo those text changes from your find and replace uh, replacements. So we can do this as many times as we want. I just, I'm just going to close the uh, window again and load up another find and replace. Um, you can actually just keep finding and replacing as well. Um, so for example, I could search for action and find all those matches. So you can see here we've got a bunch of those matches. Um, I could search for adventure. So I could find those. So you can just keep searching in the same modal uh, over and over again if you want to keep looking for different layers. Um, and of course you can make these changes. So I can change adventure to comedy for example and find, find and replace those changes. So that's just found all the matches uh, for adventure and showing me what it's going to look like when it gets changed to comedy. Um, so again, I'm just going to quickly update all of those text layers to show you how that looks. So I'll update those. It's just updated all those four layers. So you can see it's changed over here. Um, all of them have been changed to comedy from adventure. And the other thing that's probably just worth touching on as well is uh, the match case feature. So we'll use the Avengers example again. So let's say I search for Avengers um, in lowercase. So I'm just going to do Avengers. So if we search for that, it's going to come up and it's, it's going to get shown in our search results. So we can see here it's included um, Avengers because we search for Avengers. Um, however, you'll notice in the design, um, Avengers is actually capitalized in all of the, the places where it's got um, the Avengers endgame title. So if we wanted to actually specifically match that case um, to make sure that it's only matching the exact um, uppercase and lowercase in our search term, we can click on the match case toggle. So if I toggle that on and now I'll find, try and find those matches again, 
you can see this time it's actually uh, returned no results. Um, and the reason for that is because all of these are capitalized. So this basically makes it case sensitive. Um, so this can actually be helpful if you're replacing things like names or uh, things of parts of words that might actually not be capitalized that you don't want to replace. Um, so this is just a nice way of doing that. Um, and to show you how that does work with the capitalization, if I put that into the uh, search input again, now I've capitalized the A and I'm going to leave the match case setting on. Uh, if I find those matches again, uh, this time it has included the capital A um, because we did we did uh, add the capital A into our search term. So that's just a really quick note there as well. Um, so that's essentially it. It's a, it's, a, it's a really quick tutorial. I just wanted to go through it um, and show you how it actually works, show you how to uh, find and replace the text really easily, preview the final replacements um, before you update them in Figma. So uh, if you've been looking for a feature like this, um, this is a fairly new feature in the plugin. Um, it's designed to be very similar to a typical find and replace feature in something like a code editor. Um, and now you have the added benefit of really easily being able to preview those changes beforehand. So there's just, there's no way you're ever gonna, um, you know, accidentally find and replace a whole bunch of stuff without knowing what it's gonna look like first. Um, and as always with this plugin and with um, updating any kind of text using plugins, um, please just be sure that you do have the fonts installed. If you don't have the font installed, um, it will let you know that it won't be able to replace the text um, without the font installed. So yeah, if you are gonna be doing some fine replacing and you're wondering why it's not um, actually letting you do it, it's almost definitely because the font needs to be installed. Um, and if it's not installed, you won't be able to update it. Um, that's just the way that, that Figma handles fonts. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'll leave it there. And I hope if you've been uh, wanting some find and replace uh, functionality in your Figma file, uh, this plugin should hopefully help you out. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with more tutorials just like this one.